A very warm welcome to The Link Up. This is the show that keeps you on the loop with what's happening around us and our day-to-day -day issues that we face in Mzansi and around the world. Today, I'm with the ladies. Hello, ladies. Hey, thanks. Hello. How are you guys? Good, man. Good. Looking Good. fantastic. Nice. <laughs> you as always. So today, we'll be discussing why is it that still in 2020, we're still talking about the first black. So meaning, what I mean by the first black, I mean um, the first black president the first black woman to achieve this the first black man to get this you know what is your take on this issue ladies i think it's more of we've been oppressed so much yeah. that when 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 we inform people of our achievements it makes us feel like we're something because we've always been the inferior race somehow yeah so maybe up until 2020 it would still people are still doing that because it's like some form of maybe we're trying to belong or something like that, not necessarily for approval for anyone, but it's like we've been oppressed way too much. It's like these, it's like maybe we're just trying to embra embrace the achievements that we've had because we've had a lot of other people that we hear that they've done this yeah. and that and like yeah. less black people you'd never hear of or who, who invented what as a black person. So I, I don't, I think it's a, I think it's, Something because there's still oppression in 2020. That's why. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, I feel like as black people, we're in the building, go, yeah, but mm. like we 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 coming for things, yeah, but like yeah, within spagat, yeah, but <laughs> but also as much as we're excited about being within, yeah, but and we're only celebrating or banga that ah first black um, woman to do this, first black man to create this and this and that, you know. But at the same time. It's not something we should be celebrating. Or, like, it should be something normal, guys. Yeah. Mm. It should be something, like, when... It shouldn't be even a matter of banner, first black, and don't, don't... For example, when a white person does something, we don't say banner, okay, now this one, this is the, um, the first white person to create this thing. It's this like the normal. the first white person yeah. to invent this thing. Normalized. They create something, and then go so to ban, 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 bill van Yerten the creator of whatever you know yeah. there's no first black uh, there's no first white whatever whatever you know yeah. but i think with us as much as siba excited but also at the same time we still have that mindset we're inferior mm. yeah, so we always feel that um we white need people to but part the superior so each time we crack something each time we come up with the ideas as a brilliant you know whatever because obviously like we've been oppressed but so yeah. we do not have the resources to do is it not that we wanted to do? Yeah, but I mean, we came up with a whole lot of ideas, and some would even still the ideas, ideas of black people. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I was so about to get into. That like I think it's you. You see how you see on the news, uh, if someone does something, a black person does something. Let's just say on Twitter, because everybody is on Twitter right now. But if someone would say some, if a black person would achieve something, like at the University of Harvard, it's like I'm talking. It's it's globally now. We're just not bringing down to South Africa. Yeah. Someone at the University of Harvard achieved something, a black person achieved something, they're not going to write their name, like who, who did this. They'll just yeah. be like, a man created this. Mm -hmm. And now we have to say the name of the person too. It's like, it's not everyone who knows like the position that they are as a black person. Yeah. We are not inferior. No human being is more superior than anyone. Than anyone yeah. But there are people that still feel like, uh, sorry, they still feel inferior. There are still people that... It's, it's unfortunate that that's what it is. So it's like maybe we're doing that for that specific group of people to be like, we are we are way more than what you think we've always been. Yeah, and I also feel that, um, bringing it back to SA, um, here in South Africa, it was hard for black people to get educated back in the days, you know. It was hard for us to actually achieve things because education was only given to the whites, right? But then times have changed. When are we going to start looking past uh, color and start seeing achievements for what they are, you know? Start saying, okay, maybe... Um, just achieved this and not putting first black woman to achieve this what is it going to take for us to look beyond um color i think it's okay. it's, it's a tricky one honestly it's yeah. going to take us forever to actually get there yeah it's going to take us like decades for us to actually get there because i mean um as much as we feel like man, um okay now we free as much as we free and i mean whatever but um those 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 things have always been instilled to e parents as they to when they see a white person they see 
um, a god type of vibe. Yeah. They see a master type mm. of vibe, you know? And to a point whereby even black people, when you're doing well when uh, as a black person, for example, yeah. maybe a garage or wherever, if someone wants to sell you something, they'll be like, but hey, I'm you yeah, know? Because yeah. there's always that thing um, white, white people, people are only most they can have the power yeah, of doing true, so and so true. and so. So if I'm going to give you money and whatever, then now you start worshipping in don't you matter, hey, I'm whatever, 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 you know? And also, I mean, um, I hate to say it, but even today, um, our parents, um, like, hello, our grandparents, and even some of Tina in this generation will still fear um, white people. They yeah. still fear that they're superior. And like, if a white person was to walk into our part on, on, on this conversation that we're having right now, mm -hmm. like, I'm sure we'd maybe like, uh, we wouldn't talk much, we wouldn't be as comfortable, you know? And, like, instead of us focusing, but instead we'd be sitting and admiring my, yo. Or, for example, if you think uh, a white person, a guy, and then you have a yo, 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 you know, yo. and then if you're watching videos of white people speaking their neck, and we're like, what? We're clapping hands. Why? Yeah. I, th I know. Th I think um, to to answer like part of your question that like how when we would get to the point of the fact that it'll be normal, like it's it's gonna be something normal for a black person to achieve something, or to to just be, you know, like when yeah. is it ever gonna be normal? I think sometimes we. You see what recently happened with um, the hair situation? Oh, yes, 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 clicks. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, it just, it's like um, somehow as, as black people have been oppressed so much, so it's like we're trying to prove a point as well. Yeah. Sometimes we're just trying to prove a point. It's not, it's not that we don't know who we are, but we're really just trying to prove a point. And it's like, we don't need to. We don't need to at this point because we know who we are. But also there's just that small percentage that will always, like you say, that they'll always bow down and think that, you know, the white person is superior. And it's like, oh, I would rather do business with a white person than a black person. Because we see and white and then we see so power. Yeah. That's the thing. Because I remember there was this one time I was at church. I visited this other church mm -hmm. um, in Alex and the priest was right. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Then, like, I was observing, like, I was observing You're an how... an observer. Yes, mm -hmm. no, I do that, hey? Like, yeah. I, first of all, I don't like being made uncomfortable. Yeah. So, I'll study your energy, mm -hmm. yeah, but so that I know, but I play far or what's happening. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I just... Also, the approach, like, yo, you need to be... Humble. Humble yourself humble. in front of me. <laughs> so now, the priest is white. Okay, cool. So now, I'm, like, I'm observing everything that's happening, and then how he was speaking to Abandaba Dala, and I was so disappointed because I'm like, um, most of the people up in this congregation, obviously, uh, I mean, Afundile, yeah, well, they're the new generation, so why cannot they challenge him into saying, Man, no, you're not going to speak to me like that. Yeah, you're bring not gonna address to my the next issues. Point. You're not you're not gonna address the issues in Nam like that. Yeah. You're gonna speak to me like you're speaking to Omnia Umdu that you're gonna speak to with irrespect. And I mean Lamama was super old, like she was a whole grandmother to have Umdu who's in like maybe in their forties disrespecting you. Yeah, yeah. But, so I was like and then I was sitting and I was like, what is the youth doing about this thing? What are our mothers? Because at least oh mama Betu could actually say Bana Bona they stand the ground and whatever, you know. So like they demand that respect and but what are they doing about that situation? Yeah, mm -hmm. So we're still giving power. Yeah, but we still want to be inferior, Tina, because it's in our minds. It's always been like that. Man, uh, you see a white person and then... Yeah, but then bring this to my next point, adding on what you just said. Um, right now, times have changed, as I said, and now we are educated and whatnot. Why don't us as the youth take it upon ourselves to educate people about this, that no, we are equal, skin color doesn't matter. When will things change? When will us as youth take it upon ourselves to change things and not live according to the generational cycles that have been happening? When is it, what is it going to take for us to break the cycle? I think firstly just to see human beings as equal because if I was to have a mentality that I'm inferior, I'll give someone else that... Um, you pass it over I'm, to your kids. And I'm going to pass it over to my kids that, yeah. hey, like, guys, we are inferior. This is what it is. So I think we should start, like, telling people that, guys, we are kings, you know. We we are who... Like, we. this is who we are as human, the human race because if you strip everyone off of skin... Like, who are we? If you strip people off of people skin, everyone, like, put every race here, 
uh, put the the Asians, put the in uh, Indians are the Asian. Okay, put the Chinese, <laughs> put the Indians, put the the Latinos, put the the colored people, put the black people, put the white folks over there, put everyone here and strip off all their skin. Everyone, strip yeah. off of, of all their skin and their hair. Will they still be like, like braces, or it's just a human being? Just a human being. So and I, I, honestly, I and guess. And it's boring, man. Like, imagine if all oh, we all had one complexion, and guys, come on. <laughs> like, it wouldn't. Like, I think it would just be boring. So I think it's just the idea that someone else at some point thought, like, no, man, this looks like an oppressible race. Yeah. You know? This looks like, you know, we, we could use this specific group of people. Yeah. So now it's no longer, it's more of a mental shackle that like you still think that, you know, the white person has power over you. And also because of the, of the privileges. Like there is can, a lot we, of privileges. We can That's never the deny the white privileges. Privilege. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we can never deny the white privileges. I mean, see, like white people uh, get jobs, being in degrees and whatever. Mm-hmm. And see, now you have to do a degree, you have to do your honors, your master's. And then you told me, no, you other can't even get a Job. That time, the person only has Metric. metric you know yeah. what I'm saying? And also, um, someone had said something about the issue of land. Like, yeah. for the black person, for you to actually get land, they'll, they want money out of you, you yeah. know? But if it was a white person to propose something, but not, yo, listen, I need this land for farming or whatever, whatever, then, yeah, we it's trust. It's quite easy to you know, get things. Because we trust white people, we, we, we give them the power. And also, I think also we should stop that thing of saying, but not, if about, about like white people are doing normal things, like normal normal things that we all do and then we start clapping hands for them but uh, it's extraordinary it's out <laughs> of the world you know I, yeah. I think it all starts there guys like we need to yeah. take a power yeah to we need to take it crowns but hey, also mom? how how like how do i mean also because I, I have like a few white friends and they need to know that this is the privilege that they have because somehow if that privilege is dismantled and everyone has equality everyone gets the same share of everything then there's no longer that white privilege and everything and all of it is equal so somehow we it might forever not it's, things are changing now but we might it might take some time before we get to a point of that equality of uh you know who's better than who yeah and like we, we I, I don't know how long it might take, but that privilege also is just kind of a barrier still up until now. What I'm saying is that us black people, we got to slay until they stop writing those headlines as a first black. We got to show them. <laughs> yeah, that brings us to the end of the show. Ladies, it's always nice having you guys. Oh, like, <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Yeah, so we've seen that us in the world, we still have a lot to work on. We still have a lot to learn. And hopefully with time, things will get better. But that brings us to the end of the show. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave your comments down below and like. And also like our pages on all social media platforms. Until next time, from me and the ladies, it's goodbye.